Hello everyone and welcome to Sunday. We decided to come to Wilmington on a whim, so we're in Wilmington. This is Wilmington. We're going to start off our day by eating at the Front Street Brewery. 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 I can speak, I promise. I've uh, never been here, but it's supposedly going to be it. They're also here. Let's eat. Mallory has a shepherd's pie that's uh, lamb, lamb beef, uh, tomato, corn, peas, uh, some kind of uh, the, what's scallions. the onions called? Scallions. Oh, scallions. Mashed potatoes, uh, mashed potatoes and, cheese. and cheese. It. I tried it. It's excellent. Uh, me and my mom both have these uh, portobello uh, pita wraps. Portobello mushroom marinated in balsamic. It's uh, roasted red pepper and spinach. I also have homemade cheap. Oh, pro oh, the provolone on there. And he's got uh, chicken tenders with uh, buffalo and honey mustard with sweet potato fries. So this place is uh, it's, it's good. I've already had quite a bit of the sandwich. I am a fan. And uh, our day in Wilmington's just getting started. Although, to be fair, it's 3 o'clock, so we got a late start. After lunch, we decided to do shopping because it's near Christmas, and that's just what you do. So most of my day has consisted of watching this happen over and over again. Because Mallory's trying on shoes. Boots. These funny long boots with the frilly stuff. I don't quite get it, but she seems to like them. My favorite shoe moment was uh, we were looking at one of the stores, and one of the name brands was um, Naturalize. And I said, man, look at them. We walked past them. I said, you know how much they were? And I was like, no. And I was like, green and one. And, and I thought that was funny because it was funny. Some of you will get it. And never mind. There. I have... Tell them what you did. Oh, we were just trying to see if it would fit, and I forgot to wrap the box. She the, put a present in there. And didn't wrap it and put a name on it for who it was for. <laughs> it was just this plain old box she had taped shut with gifts inside, and she put it in there trying to see if it would fit. <laughs> and we got carried away, and we wrapped it up. With, we used two rolls of tape already. <laughs> Started on our third. Now we've got to tear it open. No, all you do, no, don't. you don't. You don't tear it open. I'll have Carly do it. You just take a knife. Oh no, no! I've got to wrap what? that up. No, That's just no. terrible. That's just terrible. No. We'll do it from the bottom side, then we'll okay. slip it back in. Yeah. No, 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 no! I was going to say, no. if you just cut it, get away. No, 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 no! Get away! You don't understand. The gift is on the bottom. Our shopping in uh, Wilmington, oh. did I say we were in Wilmington? I think I did. I we were in Wilmington. Um, was so was pretty confused. short. Uh, we, we got such a late start in the day, and stuff on Sunday closes up at 6, apparently even during holiday time. So um, we left and came back home, and they've been working on uh, send, getting the, the box of presents that they were going to send up to Mallory's uh, mom. And uh, as they said... They put a bunch of stuff in the box that they've been wrapping it. They were just trying to see if it would fit. And they got so excited that they just put it together. Now they're they're opening it back up to wrap it. Anyway, um, I thought there wasn't going to be any uh, additional things to say, but apparently uh, Kim Jong-il died. Yeah. Mm, I mean, I, I don't think the world is going to mourn quite like they did for Steve Jobs at Kim Jong-il died. But I mean, still, I mean, a human being passed. Uh, I, I know who who is mourning is probably the people in North Korea. Uh, and some of you will be saying, well, aren't the people in North Korea under the tyranny of Kim Jong-il? Well, yes, and I'm sure there may be a small percentage of the people who are happy, but um, me and Mal have watched a lot of documentaries on North Korea, and the people worship Kim Jong-il as a god. It's, it's really creepy, really crazy, and um, there were a lot of people that, uh, when the, uh, the predecessor, uh, was it Kim Jong-il's father, I guess, um, was on the throne, whenever he ruled over North Korea, and he passed, uh, it was crazy. There was like months of just people like, you know, they going crazy. Uh, they were so upset. So I imagine that the same thing is going to happen here with the passing of Kim Jong-il anyway.
So that happened today, and I'm, I'm sure that it's probably newsworthy, and there's probably a million other videos going to talk about it, but um, I'm not even going to bother making that the, the title. I, I actually have kind of a tradition when we go to Wilmington. I do the electric thing. This, this will be called Wilmington 3, uh, Aquatic Chickadee. Don't ask me to explain that. Anyway, I'm actually editing yesterday's vlog now. I can already tell that I'm going to get a little behind while I'm here, but I think that was to be expected. So um, I'm going to leave it here and say thank you guys very much for watching. And join us again tomorrow when we are going to Charleston. Yes, we went to Wilmington today. We're going to Charleston tomorrow. We're just traveling. We're travelers. That's what we, that's what we do.